Hello my soccer universe, I'm back from a really nice family trip uh, away for a few days which meant that I could not watch the Europa League and the Europa Conference League fixtures live but I saw some highlights and let's talk about this. Uh, probably will be a shorter video uh, this time around. Uh, I gotta say a uh, very interesting result. Everything seems to be still kind of open. More goals in the Conference League where maybe the bit more decisive results overall. But for me, uh, I think I have th four basic questions, one for each uh, uh, game. First one is, uh, can Mourinho lift Roma to another title uh, within two years after Roma had not won any European trophies? Second one is, well, what if he runs into Sevilla, who again find a way to get out, uh, get the best out in the Europa League? On the other side, you know, Juventus is always a tough opponent, but they never play well. Then the third question is can Basel pull off a Swiss miracle? And the last question is are AZ a side that can actually really hurt West Ham? Because they did already a little bit. So, those are the questions that I'm left uh, after this first round. Let's talk uh, briefly about the games I want to start in the Europa League with Roma against Leverkusen, uh, which from what I could, could gather was a game that in the first half Leverkusen largely controlled. Uh, they are maybe a more technically adept team. In addition, you know, with Roma have um, a lot of uh, in injuries and wanted to keep it tight. Tight, they kept it, they kept... Uh, the, the game level uh, despite being maybe on the pitch the slightly the un underdog however uh, in the second half the game was kind of fizzling out until Antemi Abraham's shot is uh, I think um, parried and then Bobe just uh, takes it into the end into the empty net and he gives Roma a lead Bobe of course a youth team player from Roma that could be a big advantage. It's a little bit of a surprising result because I thought that Leverkusen are probably come into this the better team. Uh, also interesting, the meeting of Mourinho and Xabi Alonso beforehand because, you know, Xabi Alonso was one of the signs that Mourinho got to Real Madrid. So they have a long history and Jose Mourinho already said that Xabi Alonso might be one of those coaches of the future. That we will have to see. I think most of the eyes were on Juve against Sevilla. And Juve did not show up in the home stadium. And it's notable that all three talent teams had home games this time around. But Sevilla completely bossed the first half. Uh, only took the lead through an NSC goal. Uh, nice Ocampos assist in there. Um, probably should, 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 should take more. Juve were not on the pitch. Second half. Uh, many changes made by Allegri. He brought on Chiesa for Miretti. He brought on Ealing Jr. for Kostic. And then later on Gatti, Milik and Pogba. All came, came on. He wanted to change the complexion of, 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 the, of the game. But despite all the dominance that they seemingly exhibited, there was not much happening in terms of chances. Yes, they, they probably should have had a penalty in the 85th minute, which was the first thing in the second half that was really causing some, uh, you know, attention. Because other than, from what I could tell, there was not, not, not much happening. It did not uh, come, and then late on, uh, Pogba cross and got the headset into the empty. The 97th minute, Juve strike late. That's maybe the goal that keeps them in the, in the tie. Never count Juve out, however. Uh, huge credit to Sevilla. Sevilla is a team, when it is Europa League, they are going into next level. This was a team that really, really, really was struggling in La Liga. Yes, now with Mendilibar coming in, they're looking a little bit more solid and just enough to maybe win the competition for the seventh time, which would be ridiculous, to be honest. But hey, it's their comp com com competition. So far, so good. So we have then the uh, games next Thursday. There are, are the return legs and we see here the chances, of course, due to the win, Roma are our favorites to advance and are therefore also the favorites to win the Europa League. Sevilla also slight favorites, of course, over Juventus, you know, have, having a way draw, you play, play at home, looks quite, quite good. So those two are maybe set for the final in Budapest. Although I wouldn't count either of the other two teams. I think it's very, very finely balanced as of now. Over in the Conference League, um, Fiorentina had many, many chances uh, to take more than the 1-0 lead through Cabral, who of course played for Basel for three seasons. Stuli was not celebrating and uh, that should bite them. I think they had it all 
in their own hands to get more out of it. And then when Juve in the 71st minute gets an equalizer, it kind of got the nerves of Fiorentina. Again, great crowd uh, in Florence. They were really buying into this conference league. We can win the European trophy. We are the favorite favorites. And then Amduni in stoppage time gets a winner for Basel. And I'm really wondering, is the Swiss miracle on? Uh, because Basel is nowhere in the Swiss league. They are only have this Europe, uh, Europa Conference League. And they again, after squeaking by uh, Slovan Bratislava, um, having a hard performance against Nice. Nice were overall the better team, but Basel was not the team to, to, to be denied. And now again, looking more or less out of this game for most of the time, but just hanging in there, not giving up more goals and then scoring at the right, right time twice. And now they go home with a chance to make it to the final. That's pretty, pretty, pretty big for FC Basel. And the only way that they probably can get back into Europe. Um, it's also the only way to get back into Europe for West Ham, who hold a 2-1 lead. However, Alkmaar, especially in first half, gave a good account of themselves. Reinders gave them a 41st minute lead, which was a little bit of, it would be a little bit of an upset if I said go through. However, then uh, Ben Rama penalty and shortly thereafter Antonio goal settled the tie, uh, settled the game for West Ham, who probably on balance deserved to win this game. Holding out the advantage, but going back to Alkma, I wouldn't count Z out. Z is a strong enough team, especially with uh, the power that they have up front. They are a really good um, Eredivisie side, and I think they can hurt West Ham. Uh, of course, West Ham is the better team. They have the better players. We don't need to talk about that. But there's a potential for a Basel at that final, which no one would, would expect. Everyone was talking about West Ham Fiorentina. Uh, again, return legs are next Thursday at 9 o'clock. If we look here at the uh, uh, um, chances now, West Ham and Basel are the big favorites, with West Ham the huge favorites to actually win the entire thing. Thanks to Fiorentina having to overcome an away, uh, you know, a, a deficit from the home game in the away game. Little bit from me, I think everything finally balanced, which is exciting. I really li like this way. Please fill me in below if I haven't seen anything, uh, if I have missed any, anything. As I said, I saw only highlights. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.